Hey guys, welcome to Wick's Garage, episode one. I am your host, Dwayne Wick. I just bought this 1977 Porsche 911 S for 14,000 bucks on the internet, sight unseen. Not this sweet 75 right here, my baby, but the red one behind it. The seller did send me about 100 pictures, so I knew a little bit of what I was getting into, but I didn't get a PPI, a pre-purchase inspection, and I didn't see the car in person, so it was a big risk. And when the car came to my house just two days later, it was a big surprise. Now, originally I wanted to build an IROC car, which is the International Race of Champions. Porsche did the first year in 1974. This car came with turbo, a turbo look, so it had welded on turbo flares. That was part of the selling point for me. Unfortunately, I discovered something really ugly underneath the paint, but that's changed the direction of the build. Now I'm gonna do a 74 RSR Carrera 3.0 tribute car. Super wide flares, um, but a little more custom thrown in there. I'm excited to take you guys through this series. I spent four years building this car. That's my experience in the Porsche world. Hope you guys enjoy the series. Cheers. Let's have some fun. 77. What are those? Might need paint. And pretty much everything else. <laughs> All right guys, it's high noon. So it's like 110 outside right now. The car is here. We just uh, got it up my driveway. That was scary. Um, we had to use a jack. The guy had like a 60 foot trailer. So getting in here was, uh, was not easy. So we're about to go over it, see what, uh, what goodies we can uncover. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna check the, uh, the first box of goodies here. <laughs> <laughs> it's greasy, Sh everywhere. All right, here's what we got. This is uh, the EGR. 70s uh, emissions, exhaust gas recirculation. This goes from a, um, nice, very nice. So that's there, I don't know. It's actually a cherry pipe. All right, next up, box of goodies, the sugar scoop rings. Ooh. Very nice, painted a gloss black, two of those. And then we got the, uh, the heat blower motor blows additional heat through the front of the car and defrosts the windows. I, I always delete this crap, or I have to delete that crap. Ooh. Part of the half shaft. Very nice. Very greasy. I'm just gonna bring this whole bucket out here. All right, another, uh, well, this is part of the half shaft. Here's the other half shaft. The oil breather line that comes off the oil tank. I saw these, I had no idea what these are. <laughs> Figure out what these two pieces are. Anybody know? I don't know. Not, not stock. Uh, part of the air conditioning, I have no idea. Another part of the axle. I have no idea what that is. Uh, this is the smog pump bracket. It's aluminum, so I could resell that. This is the back reflector rubber. Ooh, free zip ties. Down the bottom, we got bearings coming out of the half shaft ends. So that's pretty much that box. Oh, this is the engine wiring harness. And actually, here's one of the uh, good all-black original coils. These are good right here. Um, I won't be using this. I'm putting my own 3.4 in. I can always edit it out. All right. You can always edit your face out. Yeah. Uh, the world could be so lucky. Oh, man. Everything's just greasy. One big question I had was, does it have sports seats? It's got the rabbit fur, crappy Pep Boys covers. And I can tell already it's a comfort seat. He had lifted one in a photo and it had the appearance of, like, you can't really tell scale in a photo. But this looked bigger, which is normally the only difference in a sports seat is this, you know, big area here. These are not sports seats. These are crappy, totally worn out comfort seats. 
about 400 bucks for a pair. Let's see if I can pull this off here. So I'm not sure what insert it had. I mean, they could be repurposed for someone restoring a car. Check this out though. This is called the Ungo Box. This is a 1970s era anti-theft alarm. And it has this roller code that you, obviously when you get in the car, you hit the button or something, and then you roll the code, the proper code, and then you're able to turn your car on. So I thought that was kind of cool. Vintage uh, alarm system. Oh, hey, engine tin. This is the back piece. This is the rest of the tin, the engine tin. It does have crank windows, which I was really happy about. I did want electric windows. They did make electric windows in the 70s, in the late 70s. I have no idea what this is. It came off the crank. Off the crank? Off of the, the oh, window the gear. Window crank. Yeah. So this was like homemade uh, foam that somebody yeah. had put in between there. Here's the uh, back piece of the engine tin. So let's see what else is in the uh, glove box here. Oh! Is this? No, it's. I was hoping it was the knob. Well, maybe it is. The knob to the Blaupunk stereo. Maybe? No. It's got an original Blaupunk 70s radio with faceplate. It's a pretty good find. A pin. This is the. This goes here behind the door. Oh, tags from 95. California tags. Screws, and this is the door knob, crank knob. And this is the flag mirror. So we'll get that uh, back on and sold. Cigarette lighter. Dash is cracked in like five or six places. Let's check the back seats to see what we got back here. And the seat is only attached by one bolt. <laughs> this is the front, the frunk carpet, which is trash. It's like everything back here is interior. These are the side railing pieces, which are already here. I guess extras. Uh, uh, somebody was ordering window parts. This is the rear deck hood. Oh no, this is one of the door panels. These are the door pieces. Various door parts, handles. This is more of the front carpeting, just trash. Inside pieces of the door, door panels. Oh, hey, here's the, the hood prop. <laughs> or the uh, deck lid prop. All right, the back seats are in it. Maybe this looks like some cheese ball white interior that somebody added at some point. And if you look up, I'll let you get in here. Look up at the, uh, the headlining. So this is not an original sunroof from, from a dealership or the factory. This is uh, somebody's uh, company in Southern California called Sun Valley. And it's an add-on sunroof, which sucks for me, but it was an original uh, slick top. All right, we got one key marked on a leather green strap 77911S. It fits the doors and the ignition. This is my first time getting inside. It smells like, what did you, how did you describe it? A 40 year old library. <laughs> we, we're gonna need a Mitch Leland steering wheel bushing. Hey, guess what? Guess what I have in my parts bin? <laughs> a Mitch Leland steering wheel bushing that I didn't use on my car. So, there's that. The, the horn is uh, not functioning well. It wouldn't be anyway, there's no battery, but. Really faded uh, heat things. Oh wait, what do we got here? Air conditioning controls. We got the knobs. So all in all, it's uh, it's definitely very worn out. But for my plans, it's a perfect donor. A '74 IROC Tribute. So we're gonna run the 3.4 motor that I'm building. It's naturally aspirated, independent throttle bodies, EFI. Going back to a slick top. I'm gonna to do a bare bones interior, lightweight, fast, and yeah, we're good. Yeah, that's really fucked up. All the gauges are there. So I'll probably leave the fresh air blower in. Functional, it seems like. So, yeah, I mean, everything's here, which is great because when, when you have to go and find like individual parts like this, you end up paying stupid prices. Uh, so, I'm happy about that. Oh, what's this? No. Part of the interior. I'm sure I'll uncover many more treasures as I start to strip it down, so. 
stick with me and we'll see some fun stuff. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's episode. I want to thank Aussie Sales, that's A-A-S-E sales.com for sponsoring this week's episode. I also want to thank TI Porsche Products. They make amazing titanium lugs. They weigh about half as much as this open-ended steel lugs. They also make titanium studs. So check them out on Instagram. Thanks guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon up there to get notified when the next episode comes out. I appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment if you have uh, anything to say. I'd love to read them. And uh, we'll see you next time on Wix Garage. It's all about humanity. Oh,